decade count is a counter which is basically a digital circuit that counts 10 digits so 10 digits are starting from 0 then 2 1 then 2 then 3 4 then approaching 4 then reach 5 and then it moves to 6 7 8 9 approaching 9 it goes to 0 again so what the maximum number here the maximum number is 9 so how many binary digits required for 9 so for 9 should require 4 digits nothing but 1001 zero, zero, one. so starting from 4 zeros next 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 but when you are using 4 digits but we require only 9 that is 1001 zero, zero, one. or some other numbers we have 10 11 12 13 14 15 so we don't require these numbers at all when you go for design of decade counter so we are not using these uh, numbers so take them as don't care condition for implementing a decade counter first let's make a table once after uh, formation of the table that is branch state versus uh, next state uh, next step is so by using which we plop you want to realize the decade counter let us assume we want to realize it using tf plops so we have four outputs right so it requires four flip flops the lsb of the flip flop is t naught the msb is t3 so let us see how can we get such a values these values are basically coming from the t flip flop excitation table so in the excitation table the value of q is changing from 0 to again 0 in the next year, that is in the q plus 1 at which condition whenever t equal to 0 in the next condition here the value of q is changing from 0 to 1 in the next state at which condition of the input at t equals to 1 and here the value of q is changing from 1 to 0 at which condition of input at t is equal to 1 similarly the value of q is changing from 1 to the same one it means there is no change in the state so at which condition such a thing happen so at t equals to 0 so once you know the excitation table of t flop then we can easily find the values of t3 t2 t1 t0 let us check here present state changing from 0 to 1 that is 0 0 0 0 in the present state next state it becomes 0 0 0 1 now check here for each an output for example here q3 the value of q3 is changing from 0 to 0 in the next state so from the t flip flop excitation table the value of t3 is 0 so t3 is 0 similarly here the value of q2 is changing from 0 to 0 again it means no change in the state so again the t2 value is 0 and the value of q1 is changing from 0 to 0 here it means no change in the state and the value of q0 is changing from 0 to 1 in the next state 
so it means we can see the change in the state so t naught equals to 1 in the next one in the present state 1 is moving to the 2 in the next state it means 0 in the q3 is moving again to 0 it means t3 value is 0 let us check in the excitation table here for q2 it is changing from 0 to 0 it means no change in the state so t2 equals to 0 for q1 is moving from 0 to 1 it means there is a change in the state so the value of t1 is 1 in case of q0 the value of q0 1 is changing to 0 it means there is a change in the state so the t0 value is 1 again here the value in the present state 2 is moving to 3 that is 0 0 1 0 is moving to 0 0 1 1 so in case of q3 q3 is moving from 0 to 0 it means no change in the state and here q2 is moving from 0 to 0 so this is also no change in the state here 1 is moving to 1 again so it means no change in the state that is t equals to 0 again here in case of q0 the value changing from 0 to 1 so 1 here similarly here 0 is moving to 0 means no change state 0 is moving to 1 so change in the state means t equals to 1 1 is moving to 0 again change in the state so t equals to 1 1 is moving to 0 again t equals to 1 similarly you can make till 9 in this condition 9 is moving to 0 again now let us check here 1 is moving to 0 it means change in the state so this should be 1 0 is moving to 0 so no change in the state 0 again 0 is moving to 0 here no change in the state 1 is moving to 0 so change in the state that is the value of t naught is 1 here so in case of decay counter we require from 0 to 9 so we we're not using other conditions such as 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 so consider them as don't care conditions here so once you make these things then you can easily go for finding the value of t3 t2 t1 and t0 so please check where we have one so we have one uh, at zero one 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 condition that is seven right and we have one more one at one zero zero one condition means nine so at seven and nine positions so we have to put one for remaining conditions such as zero one two three four five six eight so we, have, we should put 0 in the k map. So what are the remaining values again? Remaining values are 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So please take them as don't care condition. Four variable k map is required. The variables are q3, q2, q1, q0. So 0, 0, 0, 0 means 4 zeros means 0 here. 0, 0, 0, 1 means 1. 0, 0, 1, 1 means 3. 0, 0, 1, 0 means 2, 0, 1, 0, 0 means 4, 0, 1, 0, 1 means 5, 0, 1, 1, 1 means 3, 1 means 7, 0, 1, 1, 0 means 6, next 1, 1, 0, 0 means 12, 
one one zero one means thirteen four ones right so four ones means fifteen one 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 zero means fourteen one zero 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 means eight one zero zero one nine one zero one one eleven one zero one zero ten so just now I seen from the table at seven and nine we have ones remaining condition that is zero, zero means zero remaining condition we should put zero here till this point and these values are don't care now is it possible to have quad here yes so quad forms here and one more pair here so what is output for t3 equals to how much was output for this quad this one q0 is constant right so q0 what about here q3 so q3 q0 plus what about here q1 q0 and here q2 means q2 q1 so q0 coming to the table back now check the value of t2 we have one we have one at uh, three and one at seven the main conditions means zero one two four five six eight nine the values for t2 are zeros or the remaining conditions means 10 11 12 13 14 15 so we can take them as don't care conditions so let us put these values in the table means that is in the k map table uh, in the k map 3 7 are uh, ones so remaining 0 1 2 4 5 6 8 9 are zeros and don't care are 10 11 12 13 14 15 now let us review this k map here is there any octet no not possible quad yes so all forms group of four bits so what is the reduction here we will get only q1 and q0 because the values of q3 q2 completely varies only q1 and q0 are constant right so it means q1 q0 is the equation for finding the t2 so again let us check where we have one in case of t1 we have one at one one right and three one five one seven one so remaining conditions zero till nine after that remaining are don't get condition so put these values in the k map so from the k map we are seeing the value of t t1 is one at which condition one three five seven remaining are zero 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 zero, zero. And other conditions are don't care now let us check so how to reduce the k map here confirm a single quad here what is the value here so the value is q3 bar and q0 so q3 bar nothing but q3 bar and q0 now let's check for t0 condition so all are one still nine so remaining are don't care now in the table let us put for finding the t naught so all are ones so remaining are don't care now tell me what's up put here look this one so final step is to realize the decay counter using t flip flops so the t0 t1 t2 t3 values we obtained from 
reduction of k maps so it requires four flip flop blocks so the input of the first flip flop is so t naught second is t1 the third is t2 the last one is t3 here we are working with the synchronous counter it means clock is common for our flip flop let us take the clock of t naught t1 t2 and t3 so clock is common means connected to a common clock okay so name it as clock here now this is called synchronous counter now let us check the input value of t naught t naught value is 1 let us put 1 here then what is the t1 value t1 value nothing but q3 bar and q naught so where do you get uh, q naught q naught is coming from so this will flop then where can you get the q3 bar so from this you can get q3 the complement of the output will get it as q3 bar so we should take one input from this region then one more input from q0 so we required one and gate let us draw one and gate and again the input is q0 let us connect the input q0 here other input is q3 bar so q3 bar is coming from this line so connect this one now it becomes q3 bar q0 go for the t2 so t2 equals to q1 q0 so where can you get q1 q1 is coming from output of t1 q0 is coming from here means here also we required one and get first is q1 is the input let us connect here other input is q0 q0 is coming from this region q0 done so completed for t2 now let's check the final one that is t3 t3 equals to q3 q0 means we required one and gate next one more and gate inputs are q2 q1 q0 we required second and gate and these two and gates are connected to a or gate so let us draw two and gates And these two are connected to a or gate let us take this and gate the inputs are q3 q0 we can get q3 you can get q3 from here so q3 so that is q0 we can get q0 q0 is coming from this point means from this region completed next q2 q1 q0 now let us check here we can get q1 q0 at this point it means we can take this place for getting q1 q0 so let us connect q1 q0 here so that is q2 q2 is coming from t2 flop output so t2 is completed finally this two and gates connect to the R gate then R gate output is connected to T3 so this is how we can realize a decade counter